Hey everyone, in this video I will be talking about cult nail, whoa, backwards, cult nail polish. And a lot of you asked me questions about this polish, so I'm going to answer some of them today. I also did a tutorial using all three of these polishes, so I will have that right here. You can click right here and it will take you to that tutorial and right below it here you can click to watch the unboxing of the cult black box and there will be a link in the description so you can sign up to get your monthly cult black box so if you watched either of those videos you know that i got breakwater which is the purple one laguna which is the reddish corally color and then coachella which is the silver holographic top coat I have breakwater on my nails right now, so if you're wondering, that's what I have on. Basically, Cult claims that these polishes are one coat and done. On the bottle, it does say apply two coats. In my experience with both of these polishes and Coachella, I would say that Coachella and breakwater are one coat, almost. I want to say one coat if you can apply it smoothly and very well. So if you have a lot of practice applying nail polish, you shouldn't have any problem applying it in one coat. However, depending on how you apply it, you may get a few brush stroke lines and stuff that just doesn't look as clean as you would want, so you do need a second coat. However, you can almost get away with one coat. It is insane. Now with Laguna, I had a little bit of a patchy problem. The first coat was pretty patchy. The second coat, there were a couple little patches, but it was still wearable. It wasn't like I absolutely needed a third coat, but since I'm like a perfectionist and when it comes to my nails and having a solid color on, I did put three coats, but I also didn't wait very long in between each coat. So if I would have waited at least 10-15 minutes, which let's be honest, not all of us have, I definitely wouldn't have needed the third coat. These polishes dry so fast. I applied break water in maybe 15 minutes and it was completely ready to go. Almost, almost ready to go out the door pretty much and I didn't even add top coat and they are super shiny. I am definitely an advocate for top coat, however, if you don't really have top coats or if you don't believe in top coats or you just don't want extra layers of nail polish on your nails, you can absolutely get away with not wearing a top coat and have people think that you have one on because they are so incredibly shiny. For the smell of these polishes, because I know there are some people that are super sensitive to the smell of nail polish, I am probably not the best person to ask for this subject because I am constantly using nail polish so I'm pretty immune to the smell. However, I still come across nail polishes that are like, oh my gosh, I have to plug my nose in order to use it. But these polishes are not that bad. They definitely smell a little bit less than China Glaze and OPI. They are 5.3, so they are toxin-free, which I think helps with the smell a little bit. So if you are sensitive to nail polish smells, like if you can't have nail polish that is strong at all, these still do smell like nail polish. It's kind of hard to avoid the nail polish smell when you're using it, but these are definitely less stinky than some of the other polishes that I have used in the past. I really like the packaging and the way that they sit. Some nail polishes are really weird shaped and I really don't like them, like the Nicole by OPI polishes. I always want to get some of them, but the bottle just turns me off because it's like the weird sideways teardrop thing and I really don't like it. But these are like a roundish square bottle and so they all fit really nicely. If you have like multiples, they will fit nicely in a drawer. Also, the brushes are really nice. They're about the size of a normal polish brush. They're nothing like OPI. OPI's brushes are definitely a lot wider. I would compare this more to a China Glaze brush or maybe like a Sinful Colors if you're into the drugstore polishes. Around there, they're not super big, but 
that's also nice for people who don't have huge nails. I know a lot of people, their number one pet peeve about the OPI brushes is that it's too big for their nails. So I definitely do like the brush size and the bristles aren't incredibly hard like some polishes. They're, it's an average brush. I like it. There's nothing really to complain about them. These polishes are about $12 a bottle and for some people that is really expensive and for others that's not expensive. But if you get the cult black box, you actually get two seasonal polishes in the black box and you also get nail art tools and other things. So you can go watch my cult black box unboxing. The boxes are $19.99 a month. So if you kind of do the math, $19.99 for two polishes and nail art tools or other nail products, that's pretty darn good if you ask me. So if you want to get some cult nail polish, I highly recommend getting the black box because it will be cheaper for you. I wish I could own every single cult nail polish in the line because I'm absolutely in love with them. Uh, move over China Glaze because I think cult just stole my heart. <laughs> No, I, I do still love China Glaze, but definitely my top two absolutely tied nail polishes right now are Cult and China Glaze. So I hope you enjoyed this review of the Cult nail polishes. I will be swatching all three of these polishes and I will be sharing them on my blog, which is packapunchpolish.com. I will also share them on Instagram and probably Twitter and Facebook. But make sure you follow me on Twitter for new videos and other random tweets about nail polish. <laughs> Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos, and I will see you guys next time. Trucks.